Cardi B has stormed the nominations for the 2018 MTV VMAs with 10 nods, including Video of the Year, Song of the Year, and Artist of the Year. Belkhalid Alamanza, which is Cardi's real name, also features in the categories for Best New Artist, Best Collaboration, Twice, Best Hip Hop, and more. Yes, Baby Mama, the Carters follow with eight nods, including Video of the Year, Best Collaboration, and Best Hip Hop for eight and we've even got an invite for you. The MTV VMAs are returning home back to where it all began in 1984 at New York's Radio City Music Hall. The nominations were exclusively revealed on MTV's new IGTV channel. Childish Gambino and Drake are both up for seven noms with their vids, This Is America and God's Plan going head to head for video with a message, video of the year and best direction. Bruno Mars has six, Ariana Grande and Camila Cabello both have five, and Queen of the UK, Dua Lipa's scored three with Song of the Year, Best Dance and Best Choreography. It's the penultimate week on Love Island, a word I just learned means second to last and not last. And in the spirit of squeezing as much possible content out of the show, we are hosting the one and only Love Island Awards. Forget your 50K, forget your brand ambassadorships with detox tea companies. This is the only prize that matters. And the nominees for the muggiest contestant goes to number one, Adam. First he stole Kendall off Niall and then he mugged her off for Rosie. Then he gaslighted Rosie, then he got with Kendall, then she left and he got with Darielle, but then he got back with Zara. In the space of a few short weeks, he's had more relationships than I've had in my entire life. Nominee number two, Dr. Alex. Honestly, you have the entire villa coddling you like an oversized sunburnt toddler because you have no prospects because you have no game. Then you go to Casa Amor, get along really well with Charlie, but ditch her for Grace and proceed to have a conversation more torturous than someone drilling a toothpick into your ear in which you ask her about her hobbies. Now you're ditching Alexandra for Laura because you couldn't see a good thing even if it slapped you in the face with a personalised plastic Love Island sippy bottle. And the nominees for the most mugged off are Rosie because gaslighting is and no one deserves that. Samira for being mugged off by the producers. Why'd you cut her scenes? Why didn't we get to see her night in the hideaway with Frankie? She was obviously one of the best contestants. At least we can still bask in that staged airport reunion and the Thought Park play dates. Laura, first Wes, then Jack, then Georgia, then Jack again. And all of Alex's partners. Honestly, Alex, come on. Most likely to score a charcoal toothpaste deal after the show. Jack in episode one. Jack in episode two. Jack in episode three. <laughs> Most honestly, what are you doing here? Dr. Alex for having the sex appeal of a soggy paper towel. Charlie, he needs neither the prize money nor the money from brand endorsements. But he was a laugh and asked Ali out through a ridiculously elaborate ploy that involved smearing lipstick all over his chest and some really <laughs> acting, so we'll give him that. He also has really great butt cheeks. Horniest moment, Jack and you Laura's kiss. Both incredibly fit specimens in all senses of the word, who could single-handedly bring football home next World Cup, presumably. Megan's coy glance. With a mere smirk and eyelash flutter, she's single-handedly giving legions of humans worldwide more sexual excitement than they've received, well, ever. Number three, Idris' striptease. To quote the seminal coming-of-age film Heathers, me gently with a chainsaw. Most please stop talking moment, Dr. Alex saying ping sort. Georgia saying, I'm loyal, 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 I'm really loyal. I guess if you start to say it a lot, you actually kind of believe it. And finally, everyone discussing Brexit. Although I suspect it's not that much more shambolic than the actual Brexit negotiations. Most likely to score their own spin-off show. Jack and Danny's supermarket run in which they all get trolleyed and drive a trolley. The Dubit Society, in which a bunch of lads gather around a campfire and discuss their sexual exploits and elaborate euphemisms until everyone falls asleep. Megan starring in The Bachelorette, in which she slowly picks off a bunch of horny men all falling over themselves to share a quick chat, then runs off with the host instead. And there we have it, the nominees. Come back next week to see who wins the coveted prize of, and this is all we could find, a Paw Patrol Scribble and Swipe. <laughs>